guys, how are ya? It's Ronan's Crafters here with another plan with me. So we are doing a kit from Cupcakes and Stickies that I believe was like the freebie kit for Christmas cards. Um, not anymore. So <laughs> don't try to send Christmas cards and get this kit for free. But I want to use it because it is like kind of Christmassy, but honestly like kind of wintry. It doesn't have Christmas colors. It does have holly leaves. And a flower that looks somewhat like a poinsettia, but I just feel like it looks like a cold wintry day. So that's what I'm going with. So I have my teal bow and my light pink bow and then my navy blue heart to go with it because that's the main colors. There's a little bit of a, like a light blue or periwinkle um, color in here as well. So that'll be good. Um, I did bring in some date dots from Pretty Planner to put in and then I think I just have my like added functionals. So let's go ahead and show new releases real quick before we get started planning. Yeah, it's that time. So, um, and just a heads up, we'll probably, I don't know when, we haven't set a set date, but this will be the last weekend at least um, that custom, the custom listing for custom clips will be available until after the planner goodie sale. Um, so keep that in mind if you're wanting to get it. Um, anytime soon, then you might want to order it like this next weekend because um, I'm not going to try to like have that listing activate or active while I'm um, trying to do the sale orders at the same time. So because just sorting them will be a hot mess um, as far as that goes. And then we're still not sure exactly what the whole post office increase will do for our shipping rates. Um, like sometimes we look at it and we're like, I don't think there is a change for us. And then other times we're like, I think it's going to go up like a dollar. So um, <laughs> during the planner goodie sale, I may have to change shipping prices because by the time I have the ship date for that Monday or Tuesday, shipping costs will have gone up via post office. So, um, this will also be the last weekend for potentially the flat rate shipping that we have right now. It'll still be a flat rate shipping. We won't do the whole like going back and, um, charging for additional items in your cart. Um, but it's one of those where it's like we kind of got to balance um, the cost of all of the packaging and shipping together. So fun stuff for shop owners. Yay, keeping us on our toes. Okay, so first up, I wanted to tell you this is not a new release, but I did restock seven of these um, last night. So I don't know if you saw that, but I did. Um, you can get it still with the skirt and the hat and the bow. I had mine plain because... I'm going to use it for Britannia's kit and the bear's wearing like a little winter hat and I didn't make a winter hat like that. Um, but I thought the little boy with the top hat and the dress and the girl with the dress would be really cute for like a Valentine's day spread. Um, so I went ahead and restocked a few of them in case you didn't snag one like three or four weeks ago, I think is when I did it. So that's a restock. Then there are two that are not new releases necessarily to everyone because they were in the shop last year. But if you didn't snag them last year, or um, you're new to the shop, then these are new to you. So there's limited quantities, just because it's not a brand new, new release. So I have the little like hot lips, okay? So there is only six of these, and I showed it on gold and silver, okay? And then um, the other one that is from last year as well is the conversation heart that says too cute. It's actually written on there in marker, um, so that it would give that like imprint stamp like the candy hearts have. So that's what I went with there. So that's it on gold and silver. Um, there's about 13 of these. Okay. Brand new to the shop and I thought was kind of fun are these. Not new item, just like new clip. <laughs> I'm done launching new stuff right now. All right. So it's a corset. It's a black corset with a little like scalloped edge of red. And I just thought it was so cute that I had to do it. And so I've been seeing a lot of like corset things anyway. So I hope you guys like it. And it matches the red lips because it's red and black. So that all kind of goes and ties together too. Um, so I think that's kind of fun. So the corset, I made about 20 of those. And then what else? Um, Where is it? Oh, yeah. So the red heart with an arrow sold out pretty quickly. So I went ahead and made it in hot pink. Well, it's actually pink, um, but it's kind of a hotter pink. It's not the hot pink that's listed in the shop. Hot pink is like really bright. So this is listed as pink, but it's not a light pink is what I'm saying. So it's like a dark pink. Um, So this is the pink heart with the arrow. That's it on gold and silver. We still have rose gold. I just didn't have time to like go get one and put it on there. <laughs> and there's copper, but um, and then... 
Oh yeah, so normally I release this one on only wide gold, but I've decided based on the shape of this one, I don't know if you just saw a sneak peek, the shape of this one, it could go on any clip. I do suggest gold, however, this is my paper flower, um, because there's gold and white beads in the middle, so I think it goes better with gold, but if you like silver, it's kind of a metallic-y shine to it. So it's kind of like a metallic pink bow or pink flower. I can talk. Words are there. Okay, and then the back is just a cardstock circle. Okay, so that's just a little bit of the shimmer that I got on the back. So there you go. So we'll have eight of those. Um, did I say there's 17 of these? And then this was requested, and I was also inspired by Sweet Kawhi's $2 Tuesday that they were doing. Um, is the kettlebell because I actually went and got one. I got mine at Target. It was like 20 bucks and it's like eight pounds and it's a cute little teal thing. Um, so I'm learning new like tricks and workouts with that. So that'll be fun. So I did a little kettlebell. I've done the dumbbell before in like a workout shoe. So I thought I'd be doing something different this year. So if you're trying to make sure that you're working out, this would be a good one for that. So I made 18 of those. They're in a light purple or lavender, if you will. And I did not skip doing new stickers this week because you guys really have been supportive of that new thing that I've been putting in the shop. So there is going to be a metallic gold bow. So I will show you that on something in a second. Because <laughs> you guys seemed kind of upset that I didn't make very many love stickers. Now I don't have that um, rosy pink anymore, um, but I decided to make it in gold. So we have a gold love release this week. So for the gold bows, there's 34 for the loves. I made 31 to make sure that there was enough for everybody because I don't like it when people don't get everything that they want. Now, I was trying to remember where I wanted to put these at, and I think they were going to be in the Erin Condren. So let me grab it real quick because I didn't want to, like, keep adding to the outside of this because, like, it has enough on it already. So one second. But I do like to show you guys how these apply in case you're, like, new to transfer vinyl stickers. Okay, where was I going to put this? Oh yeah, I think I was gonna do a bow here, is what I was thinking. And then, I don't know if I wanted the love there, or was it like the week of, yeah, Valentine's Day has a quote on it. I thought there was one that like didn't have a quote, and I was like, oh, maybe I should put it there. No, that's fine. Okay, so you have to like burnish it, which means like rub it really hard, and then you want the sticker to come up with the clear layer that's on top. So, sorry for the little tutorials every time I do stickers, but I just wanna make sure that people know what they're buying, so. They're not like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? I mean, they still might do that if they don't watch my videos, but <laughs> doesn't mean that every customer watches my videos. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one up here. And then I'm gonna take my Cricut scraper. Cause I've been using my fingernail and I think this might do a better job. Which by the way, I did get a slice. So I'm excited to see how that works. And then you just pull this off. And then if it's still like coming back with your contact paper, which is this clear stuff, then you just need to burnish it again. And there you go. Give a little smooth over. And then you just trash that, of course. So there's the love. So that one is a little bit like more tricky. You have to be more like careful with it because it's like words. This one is like not as hard. Like I didn't have to burnish it in front of you guys. I already rubbed them before I send them, but. Okay, so I'm put this one over here. Now I do have to rub it onto the paper, of course, but oh, lost my corner. I'll peel it back up. There we go. And this one shouldn't be too tough. That one's easier. But yeah, definitely be careful with the letters because you don't want to tear those apart. They'll be so sad. Okay, so that's what they look like. You can see the shine on them, and they are gold. Okay. So there, put them on another planner. All right. So those are all the new releases this week. I hope you find something you like. The link will be in the description box below. New releases go up at 8 p.m. Um, Central Standard Time on Wednesdays. So when you guys watch this a few hours later, put them all back in their containers. And let's get started planning. Okay. All right, so we have our day covers. Where are they? Let's start with those. So I think I've used, haven't I used a Cupcakes and Stickies? No, that's for Tanya. No, it's Sticker Monster Co. 
No, that's Virginia. No, I haven't. I thought I used one of these in here. I was wrong. It happens. Okay. So let's talk about this week so far. Um, it's going pretty good. Today was kind of a mess this morning. Um, my son did one of those things where he's like, he, apparently he's getting hungry in the middle of the night. I think he's going to go through a growth spurt or something, which he already grew out of his, um, Christmas pajamas. So he got too tall for them. He's a skinny little kid. If you've never seen a picture of him, he's skinny. He's not short. He's just skinny. Um, and then, cause most people think he's a first grader and he's in kindergarten. When he was three, people would talk to him like he was a five-year-old. It was funny. I was like, he has no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's hard to judge kids' ages sometimes. It really is. I mean, I don't like, it's not like I judge people. Like, how dare you think my kid is that old? Like, no, it's fine. It's too hard to keep track of that. So, anyway. Um, we went on a date night this weekend. And that was a lot of fun. Did I talk about that already? Did I talk about that in last night's? I don't even know. Um, and then tonight, my husband grilled up a bunch of meat. We like to just, like, grill up. I feel like I got a little loud. We like to just grill up, um, a bunch of it at the same time, like, the grill is on. So, let's just go ahead and grill a bunch of it. So, they grilled some chicken, and they grilled some burgers, and now I have grilled chicken leftover, the leftovers for my lunch tomorrow. And then, um, my husband baked... He called them country ribs. I don't know these things. So <laughs> I tilt my planner a lot. Sorry. Um, and then so he's I think he's gonna turn that into dinner tomorrow. So that will be tasty. Alright, let's do our dates. So these are from Parmigan. No, pretty planner. 21. I was like, mm. they start with P sometimes or they end in co when I get things a little mix up yeah these are a good size i could write my date my dates in but i just feel like it's very bold to have stickers like it just stands out to me better plus i honestly am not a huge fan of my handwriting which i know it's like well you could work on that and improve it and i write all the time at work but it's like most of the time i'm writing in a hurry like i'm quickly writing a pass or like um writing down notes or things like that so it's just, I have to write quickly so I don't have time to, like, work on my handwriting in my everyday job kind of thing. So, it can be a little messy all the time. Can't read it. If I try, I mean, it's, like, better, but it takes me longer, so I don't. <laughs> I just don't. Oh, today was a pretty easy day though, other than like basically all basically all of us ran late. We were not late to work or school, um, any of us, but it was just like we did not wake up. My son, like I said, interrupt my sleep at like two thirty. Okay, so I don't think I have headers. I don't have headers with this little mini kit. Okay, okay. That's interesting for planning. Okay. Well, then I might have needed to grab some washi, and I definitely did not. Wowza. Okay, so these are kind of like header size strips, but there's four of those. And those are not header size, those are like quarter box size. That's header size. And these are header size. Yeah. So I have four, eight, nine. I have nine headers. Yeah, boy. Okay, then I definitely should have like grabbed some washi tape. Well, we will try to work with what we have nearby us because that is what we're going to do. So I do have, nope, that's not it. Don't, don't even, how about that one? Mm, I need a little bit darker than that. I'm just like, what is nearby right now? There's this pink, like pink star. That might look pretty. We'll keep that one out. There's this one with bows. That might work. Um, nah. Okay, what else we got? 
We got little skinny snowflakes. That's too blue. Maybe I'll do these blue winter trees. They're navy. That's navy. There's little birds on them too. What do we think about that? Oh, there is this one too. It's like pink with rose gold circle. That's not right. Uh, you guys see things so quickly. I'm like, mm, that's not right. Mm, no. <laughs> I'm such a goof. Okay. So I think for the first header, we'll do this one from the Planner Society. We'll just go across with this. Oh no, I remember what I was thinking. I know why I didn't think I needed washi because I thought I would build up. I would go ahead. I remember. Okay, so there's wide washi in this kit. And I thought I would go ahead and use that and then see kind of like where it fell. I remember now. Good for me. <laughs> you have these like best laid plans and then you like mess them up for yourself. Okay, so I don't know. I've never put bottom washi in here. There's a little bit of a hangover. I wanted to try out my slice, so I guess that's a good time. Try it out. I don't know if I did it right or not. Okay. I have it. I bought it. It's rolling around. Okay, so I've seen a lot of people. I'm going to turn it upside down so I don't mess it up. They, like, give it an edge to go against. Right there would be my edge. I'm not an expert with this yet. I don't even know how hard to push. Did I do it? Well, it's kind of tearing. That did not work out for me as well as I've seen it for other people. I think my sticker stuck to my paper. Oh well. I tried. I'm trying to see if I can fix it. It's fine. No big deal. I tried. I didn't cut through my planner and that's what's the most important. Right? No, we did not. <laughs> I'm making sure. <laughs> okay, and then I'm only going to take this one and put it on these two because I know that I like run out of space in those two. And if need be, I can add some of this in there, but I don't want the pressure of adding something. Okay, so how do people do this? See, I would just rip it, but you guys are slicing it with this thing. I keep turning it upside down. I'll get the hang of it in a minute. Okay, I feel like I should start from this side though. Now, I feel like you guys are getting dizzy. Sorry. All right, I went a little too far in, but that's a nice good cut. Well, kind of. I think I need to press a little harder, but I just get so nervous. Oh well. Okay, so then we can go from the top down with checklist, half box, quarter box, which I don't know. I have full boxes. I don't know if I have enough quarter boxes. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, checklist first. So we're not going to put headers in. That's what the main difference is in this spread. We're getting a little creative. Isn't that fun? Okay, let's build the first column and see how that turns out. Okay, so then it would be this half box checklist, which is normally like where I just write something, but. That's what her half boxes are. Should, I don't want to have blue on top of blue, so I need to change up the colors. Or is this the row that needs to have like a washi tape? It can't have washi tape. Yeah, I could. With the full box? Maybe I should put the full box there. That's an idea. Okay, let's do that. We're going to try to, I don't know what I'm going to do with this little guy, but, okay, so full box, going down, 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab, see if we can do all like color blocking. How fun would that be? Purple phone. Okay, and we'll do this one. And then I need a quarter box, but I don't really have one. Let me stick this back in my hand. But I'm considering chopping up that. Let's do that. We're just gonna chop this up, I think. Because there's only four of those there, so that won't work. Yeah, we're gonna chop this up. And I'm just gonna use scissors because I don't wanna tear the planer. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in between the boxes and cut out a little bow because I just write down my subscriber account, so I don't need it to have like a whole big thing. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of washi there. So it kind of ruins the whole blue thing, but we can add. Oh, I wonder. That's skinny enough that I might be able to do that skinny snowflake washi all the way across. So we'll just do it that way. I'll build up all the boxes like that. And then we will add them on. Okay. Our next full box. I think I'll go ahead and go with this one. I can use this up and get it off my hand. <laughs> oh, I pulled this off early. Why am I like this? <laughs> oh, I'm the sticker monster. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be the periwinkle one. I am totally messing that up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try to put this back down. And put this one right there. We'll keep this one out because I'm using it as I go. We'll go ahead and go with the colors as they are supposed to be. Maybe it's not. No, it probably is. I'm like, is that really supposed to go that way? Definitely is. Definitely. Okay. So then I decided full box would look good. So we'll do this light blue periwinkle looking one. Break up the bow boxes. And then we'll do the bow half box. I'm grabbing the periwinkle looking one. Everything looks color blocked. Kind of fun. All right, then we're gonna chop this off because I know there's seven of these. It's a Monday through Friday sticker. So why not? Because I can. Okay. And then we're gonna do those. Uh, like purpley plum looking color. Hope you guys are enjoying this chaos of my planning. So this is my YouTube and Instagram social media PR planner, in case you wanted to know what I actually use it for. That's what it's used for. So this up here, I write down the shops that I PR'd for in my Instagram post that day, which are sometimes that many, depending on like tagging people in photos. I think my cat just down at me. And then um, Sometimes it's really short or not at all because I didn't like get on Instagram or like whatever it was. Yeah, I can use this one. Um, so sometimes I just don't have a lot to post or I don't remember or whatever it is. So I'm sick. Sometimes I like to just not post when I'm sick. That one. That was a great idea. I feel like I'm just adding another bow, but it's a different box, so I feel like it still stands out. Sorry, you can't see. That's not helping. Okay. Next checklist is like the teal color. I was like, hmm, how am I gonna do this plane with me? And then I decided. Well, because I was looking at it and I knew that it didn't have headers. That's why I was like, wait, when I started this, what was my plan? Because I knew that it did not have headers. Which is why I didn't put it in my other planners because I was like, I like my headers in my other planners. But this one, I feel like I have more freedom to like do things. It's like, it's just less structured because it's a TN. I don't know. Which looking back, I'm wondering if I had done my PR planner and my mini happy planner, how like different it would have like turned out, like the spreads and everything. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. So. I saw some more shops on Instagram post that they're looking for PR girls. So make sure you're following the shops and seeing 
Not the shops I PR for. Sorry. Not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying. And I think Jalen Paperco is about to like pick her team. So if you were wondering about that, I guess she like lost power. They finally got it back or whatever. So I don't know. I think she lives in Florida. And then see. That looks like teal would be the next one. But it shouldn't be. Because that would ruin the pattern. So we need to go back to blue and then the periwinkle, but I don't have a periwinkle. That's interesting. I wonder why it looked like that. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and go with the navy blue. Or no, I'm going to go ahead and go with the pink. To finish out all the colors. Is that a different teal? That looks the same to me. I'm going to go with the pink. Here. And then we'll act like the pattern is starting over on the other side, except for I'm not going to have, I don't think I have a periwinkle full checklist or half because I used them all over here. Whoopsie. Yeah, I don't. So maybe we'll grab the purple. We'll still color block. We just ruined our pattern. Oh, why did I grab that? Now what I meant to grab. See, and then this one is pink. See, that one was purple though. I don't know. I'm lost. You can't see what I'm doing because I'm covering up with the stickers in my monster hand. There we go. Stick this one down. See, the quarter box is actually going to match with this one. Chop that off. I thought I was very quick to think of chopping this apart. I was like, I'm not using it for a sidebar because I don't have one in this planner. Okay. So normally I've been shortening like my half my checklist to like half checklists. So but then I'm like what's gonna be my box for my half box if I do that? Because I won't have enough. Well I guess I could use those instead of half boxes. Okay, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna imagine, I'm imagining things right now, like where they are gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna put this blue. Ooh, maybe that one. No. I'm gonna put this blue. No. <laughs> I feel like it won't matter in the long run, but I was thinking if I put this, this full box here, that will take up a lot of room. Cause I'm thinking I'm gonna do a half box checklist, that little quarter box, and then my little mini quarter box. So I'm thinking this would be enough. This right here, but it won't match for down here. So then I wasn't sure what I was gonna do down there, but I can use this and save a full box back for someone. That's what I was thinking. Okay. So then I said I would do this half checklist as my checklist. And then do order box like that to write on. And then grab one of these. I think I might have a different idea. <laughs> It happens. Okay, and then I should have enough room for that skinny washi if that's what I want to do. Okay, but I can't build up that the same way unless I cut a box that's that same size. Which I was like, okay, checklist. Where's the checklist? Half checklist. I was thinking I would do the pink, so then that would be on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one down. And then I'm going to cut this one in half. You guys see what I'm doing? Okay. I want it to be actually the same size as this. So I'm going to line it up kind of. See, how do I do that? I'm going to cut this off. Okay, 
now I can line it up. And take this one, this little doodad, stick that in the back of my hand. Figure out where this goes. Line it up out there, as it looks like to me. And take this little doohickey. Hopefully not my desk. Because that would make me want to cry. Okay, I perforated it. I did not cut it. There. Works for me. Which means I did not cut my desk. So good news all around, really. <laughs> I feel like it's not as sharp as I think it is. And I need to push harder, but I'm just so nervous. But I just can't. Oh, man, I don't have... Oh, good, I already used it. What am I thinking? Okay, I need a quarter box. This one. This one. And then cut this last one off. And put it there. Ooh, that is pretty off. I'm not happy about that. Like that's too wide. And that even looks a little crooked, but we'll make it work because I think I have another idea. <laughs> You're like, what now? Okay, so I'm thinking this, which I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a smidge off now because it was like that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. I was gonna go with that skinny silver washi, but then I saw how crooked that other thing was. And I was like, um, no. I'm just gonna layer these two washies and have them go all the way across, which I know that like that background's the same color. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> Not a big deal to me at the moment. Not as much as filling that gap that I saw. Okay, see, I'm wondering if I could just tear it with this. That would be better. Mm. 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 <laughs> All right, there is a weekend banner, but that doesn't really work for this. Now, what I need to do, I just messed up. I need to put this here. I don't see that gap either. Is there enough for me to grab? No. Okay, well, let's try you out again. I push harder. There. Did I go through my paper? No! Okay. I can breathe. Is anybody else so nervous that I was going to cut my planner pages? Because I was. <laughs> Alright, so I have this little half boxing, um, a header, a weird little quarter box that I cut up, a weekend banner, three checklists, and some little header size deco washi tape things. Some quarter boxes and then two full boxes and basically a half box two habit trackers um which i also could have cut down into quarter boxes and then a checklist and these little header strips and that's like a quarter box so that's what i have left over let's go ahead and put in my stickers for the week so i use this one so this will be different because everything's gonna be in like a different spot okay so this goes here. I'm just going to cover up the bows because I don't actually need the bows for that. So that is going to be my TN playing with me. I really want to write on these. I need a different pen. Different pen. She uses a Sharpie pen most of the time. Mary does. It's a Sharpie pin. It's not this. It's something else. Entirely. Okay. Then Tuesdays. Tuesdays is my EC playing with me. I was like staring at it, like not absorbing what it was saying. It was annoying. 
I'm tired because my kid woke me up in the middle of the night. And so he's standing there next to my bed. I don't think I finished the story. He's standing there next to my bed with a pouch of applesauce and a go-gurt and goes, can I have these? Can you open these? And I was like, no, go to bed. And he's like, I'm hungry. And I'm like, I don't know. Just have a snack. I'm tired. <laughs> I was just tired, guys. Okay, so here's, I'm going to grab the blue one from Britannia. This is going to be for the EC plan with me. I'm just going to keep going with this one because it seems to be working. EC plan with me. And then she said that her Sharpie pen like doesn't bleed through. So now I want to try those. Okay. And then Thursday is my happy planner, which isn't a cover like this. So this is from Planner Love SP. So Thursday's happy planner. And then I should start filming this week my monthly spreads. Okay. This is happy planner. Play with me. Okay. I don't know when like haul videos and stuff are gonna go up that far in advance. No idea. Okay. Um, but I do know that basically I start filming I film on Mondays. These are from Pomegranate Sugar Co. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And now I don't film Thursdays anymore. Okay, and then uh let's see, where do I want to put that? That I know is for that. Um, I don't know. Okay, here's my character sticker. I think the other stuff is kind of like as I go. Um, YouTube does pay on the 21st, 22nd, somewhere around there. So I'm just going to put her in the middle from Pretty Planner. As far as that goes. And I do have a butt first coffee from Sticker Monster Co. I could put on the Monday box. I'm kind of decorating this little box here, aren't I? Didn't mean to. Just kind of happened. Okay, so I think that's it. I don't see. I had them. I thought. I don't see them now. Okay. Ugh. All right. I need to put in cameras. That's what I need to do. So before the pin. Midweek. End of the week. I can't believe I only have one left of these, Britannia. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I've had this so long. Like, probably since her shop opened. Like, there were so many stickers on there. It was just, like, I had a lot of time to... That's from Jalen Papergo. That's my character sticker. You don't have to have one. It's just a fun thing I do in my corner. Kind of decorates my corner. I do need to order some more of my PR packages. That's for sure. Okay. As far as pre-planning goes, I think that's pretty much it. This is how like the first two days went. So like I didn't post the video, so I just put like sleeping. Um, and then I already had that one scheduled and went up and everything. And then I like just track my count. If I forget, I go to socialblade.com and it has like a counter for you and it like it rates your channel and stuff too, but I don't really pay attention to that. I just use it for those. Um, because I usually just write it down any time of the day. But I found that like the social blade thing, if I miss a day, is a good way to be more accurate about my daily count. And then I just list the shops that I posted for that day. Um, so that'll be fun. And so you guys can kind of see how I've been using it. What I wanted to show you. And now where's the clips that I was gonna use in this spread? I moved them. There they are. Okay, so I wanna do the navy blue heart. And the teal bow is gonna go over here because I don't have like the teal. Um, okay, we'll do the navy blue heart right here. I can fit my bow. It's a smaller planer. Sometimes I'm not used to it. So there you go. That's my spread this week. I'll do that a little so you can see everything together because the heart gets kind of cut off. Um, I like the slice. I just, I think I need more practice with it. So as far as that goes, let me zoom out. There you go. Oh, you can see my mess. <laughs> Cardstock pieces everywhere. There you go, that's my spread. Oh, this was from Sparkly Paper Co. I don't know that I said that. I don't PR for her, but Jen, Jennifer Blackwell like sent me those. So um, there you go. So thank you guys so much for watching and give this video a like and please subscribe and make sure you check out new releases. The link will be in the description box below and check out Cupcakes and Stickies and you can use code Leslie10 for 10% off because I do PR for her. All right, bye guys.